The biggest difference between balloon sinuplasty and traditional advanced endoscopic sinus surgery is that in advanced endoscopic sinus surgery, to create space and to open the sinuses, you remove the tissue. By removing tissue, you create bleeding, inevitably. Once you create bleeding, and by removing tissue, you can also sometimes create pain. And in addition, which is the big thing that most people think about when they think about sinus surgery, is once you create bleeding, you have to stop the bleeding by using packing. So it's a very effective procedure, but it is and can be complicated by bleeding issues, packing the patient, pain, swelling, discomfort that are all related to the fact that you're actually removing tissue to create space. Now you take the balloon technology on the other side and we're putting balloons in and by putting balloons in we're compressing tissue to create space. By compressing tissue you don't get the bleeding, you don't get the scarring, you don't get the pain and you don't get the packing because none of those things that happen with traditional sinus surgery occur with balloon sinuplasty. With balloon sinuplasty done correctly, the patient is corrected by a compression of tissue in the correct locations in the sinuses that creates natural airflow and ventilation. And probably the most significant difference, taking away the pain, bleeding, packing, is that with balloon sinuplasty, you're creating openings in the natural pathways that were there to begin with. Versus endoscopic sinus surgery, you're creating pathways based on the surgeon's understanding of the anatomy and where the natural openings should be. At the end of the day, I've done more than 11,000 of those other, other types of surgeries, and I can tell you that no matter what someone says, you're never really sure where the natural opening is with a traditional procedure. You can think you're right, but millimeters in these situations can make a difference. With the balloon procedure, the way it's done, it is impossible to put the balloon in the wrong spot because the balloon is flexible. It will only enter through the natural pathway and thus then expand the pathway. So that difference is why I think in the next five to 10 years, we'll see that the traditional procedure will be gone and will all be being done with the balloon because it provides, number one, most importantly, a restoration of normal sinus airflow dynamics. Number two, it provides a minimally invasive, less painful, more efficient way to fix the sinus. And in addition, in this day of healthcare cost, a much less expensive alternative to the hospital or the surgical center. And those are the key differences.